A witness, someone who was there, it's a man called Chris Pauley. He was on the scene. He shot video of what he saw. Thankfully, he and his friends escaped the scene without being injured. Here's part of what he shot right there. We assume this is Chris, you on the line? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What are we looking at? Is this the lobby? Yeah, so that was, that's actually in the station. So as we was coming out the arena just before Ariana finished a long song to try and beat the rush, we come out a few minutes early. We'd come just out of where the box office is situated in the arena, and then you go into the train station. As we get to the top of the steps, we heard the biggest explosion, and it, it was literally about 20 meters from where we were stood. Everyone mm. started panicking. We, did, we initially thought it was a, a terrorist attack, because that's just what, 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 you, what you think because of what's going on. We ran down the stairs, and then started to head for the door. Before we got to the door, we, we hesitated because of past things, what we'd seen, we thought they'd normally set a bomb off and then wait for people to rush. So we stopped and then as we stopped, we got told to leave. The tannoys was going off. People were screaming and shouting. It was the worst experience ever. So you heard one explosion. We're hearing reports there were multiple explosions, but you say there was one? We heard what we was actually in the building when one, 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 one went off, and then as we left, that's when the second explosion must have taken a place. So once we'd already left the building and we just ran to the car, like didn't stop running. Is there any security between any security checkpoint between when you get off the train underneath the arena and the area where the bomb apparently went off, the lobby? No. 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 Even going into the into the concert tonight, I've been to concerts before, and we get sometimes you get patted down and get told to empty your pockets. There was absolutely nothing at this concert tonight. We, we, we just literally got our ticket scanned and was straight in. But there's, there, so that was going into the concert, so there's no security whatsoever on the outside where the where the explosion took place. So anybody could have brought anything into where the bomb went off. Yeah, anyone. As we left. Um, because w there were so many ch ch young children in there and teenagers and as we in, in the foyer where the explosion took place as I was walking through I said to my partner there was lots of parents stood there and I said look at them all waiting for the kids because I, I'd never seen it like that before like so many people so obviously they was waiting for the children to, to come out ah. so they would have been the people <laughs> well there was the people because 20 seconds later from us walking to the steps, that's when it that's when it went off. A minute ah, before I took that video. It's enough to make you cry. So it's it's the parents waiting for their kids to come out of the concert, as parents do at things like this, standing outside waiting for it to be over, and then the bomb goes off. And then the parents, some of them ran inside the building. Yeah, it was just um, it was just chaos in the train station where we was, um, and then as we left, like the phones weren't working because we were trying to ring our friends to see if they was okay because they were still inside at this point, um, and there was just just panic and chaos. So the, cell the, the cellular phone service was down. Yeah, you couldn't ring anybody. Did you see anyone injured? I didn't see anyone injured. No, I think if we would have left. 30 seconds later, we would have been caught right up in it. There were so, 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 so lucky. There are, you certainly, you certainly are. Me. There, there were reports that this might have been a suicide uh, bombing, and, uh, and I certainly don't want to pass those on without evidence, but a number of British publications are reporting that. Did, did you hear from any other eyewitnesses that that is possibly true? You know, I've just literally watching the news now and they've, they've only just started using the, the word terrorist and stuff. So before that, they were just saying an incident and then it went to serious incident and then fatalities and now they're saying it's a terrorist attack. There's so I'm not a, sure whether it's a suicide yes, bomb I, or whatever a, it was. But and and we, don't, we, it we don't know that either. Authorities are calling it a terrorist investigation that appears to be the operating assumption and of course it would be, you said it was your first thought. Is this something that you worry about in Manchester? Um, I mean, I do, my partner laughs at me because I always say, like, when we go shopping and stuff, I always just, like, look around for um, exits and stuff just because it's in the back of my mind. I don't know. It just must be the person I thought I am. And he always laughs at me all the time. And as we were going, as we were nearly in the car away from it all, 
that was what I said to him. I said, see, what do I always say to you? And you laugh at me and look what's happened now. So, it, yeah, I think it's in a, in, in a lot of our, our minds with what's going on in the world. What did he say when you said that to him? Just said, he's still shook up now, he's here. And it weren't like a told you so thing. It was just because we're just too scared, but it's just all sorts of going through your mind. I'm just glad we're okay, but it's... Heartbreaking when that people have died. It's 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 making it making it feel even like when we come away, we didn't know that anyone had died, or we didn't know if it was so. It could, we didn't know whether it was an accident or something. So now we're knowing that people have died and someone's done it intentionally. It's just making the whole the whole situation a lot more worse. Hey, are there any? Uh, you live in Manchester. Yeah. Has, have you gotten a sense that there uh, was something like this coming recently? Do, w was there talk of terror? Was there any kind of unrest, political unrest, religious no, unrest? So. You got no sense no. of it at all? No, not at all. Obviously, just what there is on the news and stuff, but nothing in, in Manchester. It's normally London, isn't it? Yes. So, That's right. No, the the focus is on... You always think of London as the place where something uh, like this like this happens. How quickly Definitely. did authorities get to the scene? Very fast, very fast. As soon as um, we'd exited the, the building, there was police cars there, sirens, and then we ran to the car, that's all you could hear. And then as we're driving away up the road, we live just a little bit up the road, still in Manchester, and there, was, there must have been about six police vehicles driving at about 80 miles per hour, heading for the city centre. So yeah. The police responded really fast. Are there checkpoints at public events typically in Manchester? When, when no. people gather for a concert, is there a, a metal detector or any kind of pat down typically? As no, there is we, in London? there's never any no. metal detectors. We only have them in, in airports. Um, pat downs, like I said, I've been to a concert before and they've done it once or twice, but more often than not, there's not, you don't get patted down or anything. And, and definitely on this one, we didn't get any checks whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, you said there were a lot of kids at the concert. Oh, we, by that, do you mean teenagers? And, and what percentage of the people would you say you saw there were, were young people? From about eight, eight right up to, to 16. And oh. that, was majority, that was a majority of the people, children, because the people with them was parents taking to them. Like, where I was sat, 20 seats all around me, it was all children with just a parent with them, like three and four kids, and just one parent accompanying them. And then there was two young girls sat next to me who was, who was there, they must have been about 13. So, it's, it's, so whoever did it, this, whoever, whoever's done this, they've known that it's a, a concert, what are, what's mostly for kids. So there was no doubt that this was a concert with children at it, lots of children. A million percent. And whatever's happened or whoever's done it would have known that. I mean, it's bad enough people dying anywhere. But then when you bring children into it, it's just, just it makes it worse. What does this make you think? Why do you think this happened? I don't know. I just, I'm just confused to why anybody would want to do this to, to anyone. I just haven't got a clue. Was anyone, um, you said there was panic after the bomb went off, and of course there would be. Do you think people Mass were hurt in the, in the panic? No one was hurt because I was in front of the explosion, so the people behind me would have, would have been the people what got injured, but obviously I, already gone running as fast as I could by that point so I didn't see anyone injured were people yelling yeah screaming it was women crying and stuff I, people um, trying to get through on the phones you know trying to get hold of the kids and crying because they couldn't you're describing something that's really awful worse even than I thought it was when we first went to the story, and I'm, I'm glad you're okay, and I'm glad you're able to tell us about what you saw because it's 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 horrifying. Thank you. 
Chris Polly, thanks a lot for joining us tonight.